Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Andrew's Collectibles here with another thrift haul review video. And uh, this weekend I was out and about at Value Village in Leamington, Ontario. I've been having a lot of luck at that particular Value Village. And I was lucky enough to find in two thrift bags these figures for $7.99 a bag. So these figures, if you've been to this channel, you re you'll remember one of my very first videos back in action after my hiatus was a Beast Wars haul that I picked up at Value Village. So this time I saw these figures and the first one I saw to the corner of my eye was that big red Transmetal 2 Megatron. And I, as soon as I saw it, I said to my daughter, I said, we gotta get these bags. So I grabbed the one bag, looked at it, I saw Transmetal Megatron and I saw Rat Trap. And I was like, okay, so we're, we're, we're hitting the jackpot here for eight bucks. And then I saw another bag beside it and, uh, and I was lucky enough to have Tiger Hawk and uh, Baboon, Baboom in it and it had a Dinobot and some of the figures. You might be wondering why aren't those figures standing up there on the bottom. Those are pieces and bits and bits and matches. Those aren't, those aren't as in good a shape. They have broken parts and stuff like that and I'll go through those in a second. But the main part of this haul, the big, the four horsemen of this haul, in my opinion, uh, you can correct me if you think I'm wrong in the comments and I'll disagree with you, but that is Rat Trap, Megatron, Tiger Hawk, and Baboom. Awesome figures. I I thought that maybe the Dinobot might make it into the top into the top four, but he doesn't have all his parts. So unfortunately, that was disappointing. So looking at the figures, we got Cyber Shark. He's missing his hammerhead part right here. And his fin is broken. So that sucks. Because I was really excited about him. I'm not going to transform each and every one. I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, showing what ones I picked up. So there's Cyber Shark. We'll put him off to the side. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll show you two more things that came in the same bag as these guys that are not Transformers related that you're going to want to see. So here is Dinobot. So looking at him, problem is with this guy, he's missing one of his claws. If you're a dog lover, he's missing his dew claws. I'm just going to move this camera up, so stay with me for one second. And uh, he's missing his tail as well. So he's got no tail, and it looks like uh, there's some other parts that might be missing. I know that uh, Sea Dog, Sea Dog always will correct me if I miss anything or say anything is incomplete. So if you guys haven't had a chance, check out his channel. He does a lot of neat stuff. He does a lot of big reviews, a lot of last night uh, special reviews, specialty figures from imports that I don't get because they don't come out at thrift shops. And uh, his channel is really picking up steam. And I know he could also use the views in minutes in order to get it over that 4,000 hours. So check out Sea Dog, Sea Dog on YouTube as well. So there's my random shout out for the day. So looking at these guys, keep going. So we've got Dinobot. You know what? We're going to sit Dinobot over here on this cat. They can just hang out. Just hang out and wait. Not going to name this guy. Comp challenge for the people watching. See if you're actually paying attention. What is his name? I screwed it up the first time I looked at him. Take a look. I'm not going to show you the back because it'll ruin it. But he has no leg. He or she, I should say. So there you go. There's three. That's a Transmetal version. So I have two regulars and one Transmetal so far. Got a Rhinox. Now I have a Rhinox from the other lot that has, I think, one of these flaps. So I'm hoping that it's the diff that it's this side one and I can complete them. Now, help me out with this, guys, because I'm not familiar with Beast Wars. So maybe the guys from Transformers and Beer can help me. What goes here on him? Does he have another piece that connects in there? Because I don't know. So I always felt like Rhinox was the iron hide for Primal, uh, for Optimus Primal. So how about you guys? Do you think do you think Rhinox was that kind of figure or that kind of character in that series? I got that feeling. And that rat trap was supposed to be the pseudo Bumblebee. But he was way more annoying than Bumblebee in my opinion. But we have a Transmetal Rat Trap. I love that Rat Trap's brain is exposed. So I didn't think that Beast Wars figures, would, like characters, would have brains. But now I guess we know that maybe they do have brains because why else would Rat Trap have a brain exposed? I don't think they need organic tissue in that in that in in a robot, right? So Rat Trap, it's got everything except his tail. Nice little figure. He's still pretty tight with regards to his articulation. And uh, he's a little bit hard to stand up because he's got all this extra stuff on the back. So I'm going to lay him over there for a bit. Now getting to the big three 
I'm gonna save the best for last, obviously. This is Baboom. As you can tell, he is a baboon. So looking at him, I think he's like 99%. He might be missing his weapon, but nice figure. I love the blue on him. I love the blue and the fact that when he transforms, he is just like a monkey, like just like a baboon. So really, really, really nice figure. Um, I, I didn't even know this figure was in the Beast Wars, which is kind of sad because I watched a lot of it. But to be honest with you, if he was in it, I didn't see an episode with him in it. So that's baboom. So if you remember him being in one, shoot me a message and let me know or shoot me a comment because, I mean, although he is a nice figure, I don't remember him being in it. And here's Tiger Hawk. This is a nice, this is a really big giant figure. Looking like he could go toe to toe with Megs there, but I don't think he could. Um, he's got one of his cannons or one of his uh, feather, what do you call them, missiles here. He's missing his missiles from his um, from his rocket launchers, but I love that one of his shoulder like pieces is his head with this transmetal part on it. Reminds me very much of uh, of Cringer and Battle Cat from He Man. So. A white figure like this being nearly 20 years old now, I'm surprised that it's still as white as it is. He's very, very, very heavy, very big figure, a lot of moving parts to him. And to have found it in this good a shape was really something that I'm quite happy with. Although he doesn't have everything, um, the Beast Wars market isn't as crazy as the Transformers market. So I'm lucky enough that I could probably piece him together and get him complete for uh, a pretty affordable amount, which I'm probably going to do. And to get a good look, you can see that sweet Maximal logo on his chest as well. So let's move him out of the way and get to the centerpiece of this of this haul. And that is, yes, Megatron. So Megatron, I didn't do that because I'm creepy. That was what he would always say. He's got this big flimsy <laughs> dragon arm that opens up. And I thought it, yeah, it does have something that shoots out of it. So I don't have the weapon. I don't have the... Um, the missile that goes inside of it. But looking at this figure, good lord, is there a lot to like. He's got that menacing scowl on his face. He's got this, you see it in there? It spins around on his chest piece. Wrist protector, everything like that. Nice big wings. Looks like everything's complete on him. And uh, all in all, I don't, I don't know a ton about this Megatron. I was happy that I picked up the uh, the big dinosaur one. I know that he evolved like nine different times on Beast Wars, and that was uh, that was like the recurring motif of the series. Now he evolved so fast at some of the at some points that I don't remember if that was like this was two, but he was it happened a million times. There's like ten different Megatron figures from this line. I think I have bits and pieces of all of them in the in the workshop, but. He's in really good shape. All in all, he's only missing a few pieces to make him complete. Comment below if you know anything that's going to help me uh, complete him. Because honestly, I would like to get him complete. I would. I think he would be a great piece to have beside. Uh, eventually, I want to clear all my movie ones and just keep all my G1s and G1 remakes and my Beast Wars and Beast Wars remakes. Um, that would be the end game for my Transformer collection. So that being said, that is Transmetal 2 Megatron. My opinion, he's the highlight of the haul, but there are two, two special guests that made it into the same thrift bag at Value Village. Ended up getting this beauty right here. So I'm, I'm not going to tell you who this is. This is a G.I. Joe. All right, toy, all right, toy experts. What G.I. Joe is that? And what version of what G.I. Joe is that? And what was the subset of that figure line called? So let me know on that one. It took me a little bit to figure it out. So there you go. There's the one. He was in a bag with this beauty. So take a look at this guy. Does anyone remember what this mystery figure's name was and what TV show he came from? Now this TV show was awesome. This was one of, one of the best TV shows that I saw in the 90s. I'm going to give you a hint. It's in the 90s. And this this show had so many cool characters that looking back on it now, like when I was researching this character, because I knew I recognized him from somewhere, 
I knew the show I recognized him from, but I couldn't remember his name and I couldn't remember everything about the show. That being said, this character was pretty awesome. Uh, was a pretty cool show and uh, it features a lot of a lot of like neat concepts and uh, had a very 80s feel to it. So let me know the name of that G, of that GI Joe and this character right here in the comments. That's the challenge for you viewers. Let's see who gets it the first or gets it first and the fastest. And uh, you know it won't be any props, but I'll give you props maybe on the next video, just like I did C Dog and uh, everybody today. So thanks so much. Hope you guys had a uh, had a great weekend and a great day. And uh, stay tuned for more great content. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. Trying to rock out some new content, get you guys some, some great new pickups and some new reviews for you to chew on. Thanks so much. Have a great day.